Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bat wrap. We're still sewing for our injured and orphaned wildlife through these devastating fires which are still going. I just wanted to quickly show you where we are in relation to the fires. So we're down here in Victoria. Um, there are a heap of fires along this coast which you can't see because um, this website's just for Victoria. So these are the horrible fires in East Gippsland at the moment and I'm going to try and zoom in. So we are here-ish. Okay, so we're still a few hours away from these fires um, but we still have a while to go for summer um, to be finished and autumn as well. Um, so hopefully we stay safe. So Back to these bat wraps. Now, I managed to find this 100% cotton flannelette sheet. We don't really use the top sheets, we only use the bottom sheet. Um, my hubby doesn't like the top sheet, so we don't use it. Um, and this one is 100% cotton, which you need to make sure that everything you're making for um, the wildlife um, pouches or bags or wraps, um, they are 100% cotton. So this one is 100% cotton, which is awesome. So now we can lay this out and we can start cutting our wrap out. So these wraps are for orphaned or injured um, flying foxes or baby bats and they are used to kind of mimic mum's wing to wrap around them. So it helps them feel safe and secure. So we're just marking out a material now, measuring out 25 centimetres and 120 centimetres long. So the width is 25 centimetres and the length is 120 centimetres. Just marking that out on our flannelette so we can cut it out. And now we can start cutting it out. I've got my big piece of fabric cut out, 25 centimetres by 120 centimetres. And now you want to fold it right side together in half. Because it's plain, um, it doesn't really have a right side and a wrong side. So we're just going to fold it in half. We're going to stitch around the edges, the three edges, and leave our 10 centimeter opening next to the fold. Okay, so I'll move that pin over. Now we have our 60 centimeter long piece by 25 centimeter wide piece of fabric sewn in half with a 10 centimeter gap here. I'm just going to fold it the right way around and we'll be back. So now we have our piece the right, right way around with our stitching on the inside. We're going to sew from our 10 centimeter opening all the way up. So we're going to make a little pocket in here to put a pillow in. So I'll just go do that now. Got our little pocket stitched and now I'm going to fill it with some of this polyfill. So I've got it all stuffed. You want it to be firm but still soft, still has a little bit of give in it. So now we're going to sew up the um, end. So I'm going to tuck it in and sew it together. I've got all our so now we've got our little bat pillow all enclosed. We're going to stitch around the edge of the remaining um, wrap, about five mil, half a centimeter in from the edge. Now I just need to cut off all the loose threads so the little bats don't get their little claws um, caught up in it. And there we have our little bat wrap. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you so you can get crafting to help our wildlife.